Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys another Twitter header tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to be doing Apex Legends. Um, you guys have been asking for this for quite a while now. I do also have an Apex um, YouTube banner video that I'm working on currently that's going to be out in the future. Um, so if you guys like that content, uh, you guys want to see more, make sure to go down there, hit a like on this video. And while you're also down there, just subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps me a lot. It really shows me that this is the type of content that you guys want to keep seeing. I also have a couple of Valorant ones coming up in the near future, Call of Duty. Um, also, feel free to leave any comments down below on what you guys want to see. Um, also, I would recommend you guys scroll through my channel as well, as I have a bunch of tutorials up already, and I will also leave uh, a link in the description to a playlist full of them if you guys don't want to scroll through all the variety of videos that I do have on the channel here. So again, just to briefly go over, I'll be showing you guys how to make this for every single character and how to kind of manipulate the template that I made for you guys here in Pixlr, so you guys don't have to download Photoshop for this. You don't have to pay for any type of software whatsoever. Um, Pixlr is just a free website and it's super, super awesome because it really doesn't require much skill at all to use. So yeah, with that being said, again, I appreciate all the support on the channel recently and let's go ahead and just jump into today's video. All right, so I'm gonna briefly go over a couple things here. Now, again, as I always say, if you guys are a subscriber of the channel, a long time subscriber, and you guys have watched a lot of the tutorials on the channel here already, I will have timestamps as always, so you guys can, you know, scroll ahead to whatever part that you guys need help on, um, because, you know, I do kind of like go over the same stuff in the beginning of some of these tutorials. I know it gets a little bit repetitive, but I do always just kind of want to go over them. If you guys are someone new to the channel, um, you're just, you know, starting out making graphics, and this might be the first time that you guys you know use one of my tutorials so if you guys are new here um, let me just briefly kind of go over everything so there will be a link at the top of the description of this video it is just a google drive link that i shared with everyone you guys can go in there and download all of the stuff that i have in that folder um, i usually just recommend you guys drag it to your desktop so it's very accessible while you're kind of watching the tutorial and following along so as you guys can see here i have a couple examples um, of the headers that i made i also have the folder here that you guys need to download and in in here you guys are going to get the font that i used which i will of course show you guys how to you know get in pixlr and use for yourselves and then i have a ton of renders here which also did kind of take me a while to make transparent as well for you guys so again i appreciate all the support on these type of videos um, i really do kind of put in a lot of work um, on my off time to kind of make these as good and unique for each of you as possible so you know you all have a different one with a different render or whatever character you guys personally use um, i don't play much apex legends i'm more of a warzone guy but you know warzone zone and other games are getting pretty dry right now so i can definitely understand why a lot of people are moving to apex legends to be quite frank with you but um yeah we got bloodhound caustic a couple ones actually um gibraltar lifeline mirage hopefully i'm saying these right i might be butchering them i played the game like a few times honestly um and then we have the template as well now the template's red here i'll show you guys how to make it whatever color to match the render that you guys are using as well so let's go ahead and just quickly you know jump into the tutorial here i think i've wasted enough time so we're just going to go to our chrome browser here and we are just going to go to pixlr now of course you guys can just click the link in the description that i provided for you guys if you guys don't want to type in pixlr to your browser um, and then once you guys get here all you have to do is go to open image and then this is the old one um, if you guys want to watch this video um, i'll have the card up at the end of the video this is just a fortnite um, banner and header one that i did a couple days ago um, but we're going to go ahead and find that folder that we just downloaded here ah apex legends assets that's going to be this one perfect so then we're just going to double click on the header template here the official one and as you guys can see it kind of just pops it right in so we don't really need to do anything with that background here so i'm just going to go ahead and start by making this for a different color character so i can show you guys how to change the color of the background too to kind of match um, so this basically this red one here would be for the red bloodhound render that I provided for you guys It kind of already matches. So if you guys want to do that, you can but again I'm gonna do a different one to kind of show you guys So we're gonna go to layer and we're gonna go to add image as layer and we're just gonna find whatever render we want Now I'm gonna go ahead and just for example use this octane one that I kind of have in the thumbnail um, so what I'm going to do is, as you guys can see, when I double clicked it, it popped it right in. Um, it is just a tad big, so we're going to drag it down. And I am going to leave it relatively big, though, so it kind of fits in. 
and I'm gonna kind of put it in between, you know, the mark where it transfers from that topographic, you know, pattern to like this other pattern. So it kind of leaves us with room for our text here on this right side. And as you guys can see, what we always do here is we're gonna take the render. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on it. I'm gonna go to adjustment, brightness and contrast. I'm just gonna drag the brightness to probably like 10 to 20. And then the contrast, you know, again, about 20 to 30 probably just to make the colors pop a little bit here. Now, as you guys can, you know, clearly tell the render doesn't really match the background a whole ton. So we're gonna click on the background here and we're gonna go to adjustment, hue and saturation, or you guys can click control U as a shortcut. Um, and then we're just gonna take the hue here and we're just gonna drag it left or right until we get a color that kind of matches. Looks like we're gonna have to go to the right here. And actually that looks perfect around hue 92. If you guys wanna do the exact one for Octane, um, gives it like kind of like a green vibe, which is super cool. Drag the saturation up a bit and click apply. And as you guys can see, it already matches and looks a lot, a lot better. Um, so literally all you guys have to do now, um, as this you know is super easy, is just add the text. So we're gonna go to the text tool here and make sure we clicked on that T. We're gonna click add text and you can kind of click anywhere and it'll pop up. And I already have the font loaded up here. Um, to add the font, all you guys need to do is click add local font all the way on the bottom and then just double click the Stretch Pro font, the one that I'm pretty much always using for a lot of these tutorials. It's a super simple and clean font in my opinion, but we're gonna double click it. And as you guys can see, it just adds it twice, but it kind of keeps it in there, which is super cool. Pixlr is really nice how it kind of keeps a lot of your fonts. As you can see, I have a ton of them. Um, so we're gonna make sure we're clicked on that. And then I'm just gonna type in my name. You guys obviously are gonna type in whatever you want. I'm gonna type in ice. And then, you know, it always kind of defaults to a random color. So I'm gonna make sure to highlight it and just click on the fill. And I'm just gonna make it white because I think it looks a bit better. And we're gonna go to size and I'm gonna drag the size up a bunch for this guy. Um, I believe I had it about kind of like this in the thumbnail here. And I'm also gonna drag this text layer underneath the render so it kind of you know gives it a cool you know dimension type of vibe here and then let's kind of go back and see what else we can add um so you guys see i kind of have you know my just simple socials down below um now clearly you guys probably would either be a twitch streamer youtuber um you know you guys can put whatever you want i'll, I'll quickly show you guys how to do that and you know i think the text is a bit bigger here too so let's go back to pixlr here and i'm just going to make the size just a hair bigger because I definitely think it looks better that way. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is go back to the text tool. I'm gonna add another separate layer here. Now I'm just gonna type in youtube.com. Let me wanna make sure it's all caps here, slash ice. And then I'm gonna go to this and I'm gonna go to the move tool and I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on that again. And I'm gonna actually make sure I'm on the text layer because it kind of makes me do that to change the size. Um, we're gonna click the text tool here and um, I'm gonna click on the size here and I'm gonna drag the size down a bunch. And then I'm actually gonna leave it a little bit big because I kind of want it to fit perfectly. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to finish it out. I don't know if it'll let me change just the color of you know, the kicks here because I kind of want the kicks to be a separate color. As you guys can see, I kind of have the kicks as a green color here. Um, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna take youtube.com slash ice, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go to layer and I'm gonna go to rasterize layer. So it basically turns it from a text layer to an image layer here. And I'm gonna go to edit, I'm gonna go to free transform, and I'm just gonna drag the size down a bit. I'm gonna match it up. I'm also gonna drag it underneath the octane render too. So it kind of shows up underneath that. And then I'm also going to, you know, um, just, make it a bit smaller so I can fit that kicks in there as well. And that looks about decent here. So now I'm gonna take the text tool again. I'm gonna click anywhere. I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna type in kicks. And I'm actually going to make this kind of like a green color um, just by clicking on the octane thing here. I'm gonna drag it maybe a bit closer to green I think that looks about good there. And then I'm actually gonna take this one. I'm gonna go to layer, rasterize again, making it an image layer so I can go to edit and I can go to free transform, kind of transform it however I want. And then I'm just gonna drag it down a bunch and I'm gonna zoom in by pressing or holding alt on my keyboard and using the scroll wheel. Um, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this bar. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go a little bit to the left here. And then all we kind of gotta do is just kind of line it up, make it a bit bigger just to kind of match what we already have there. I mean, it's a little bit complicated in Pixlr to do this, but um, yeah, I think that looks about good here. So we've got it kind of matched up here. I'm gonna use the arrow keys, you know, make, push it up just a little bit. 
And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this below the octane render as well. So we have our two text layers kind of next to each other. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on the top one. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna merge down just to combine both of those layers so we can kind of move them as one here. And then I'm just going to kind of size it just a little bit, just so it matches perfectly along the edges of that E. Um, just so it kind of lines up and looks perfect. Now, all that's left to do really here is go to file and we're gonna go to save and then we're gonna go, we're gonna drag the quality up 100% if we wanna do JPG, um, but I honestly just do PNG because it's easier in my opinion and it doesn't really change much. Um, doesn't matter if you click transparent or not, um, since it's not transparent, you know, image whatsoever. Um, we're gonna click save as, and then I'm gonna make sure I'm kind of clicked on my desktop. Again, you guys can save it wherever you guys want. If you guys have a specific folder or something, but I'm just gonna name it Apex Legends Octane Header, and then I'm gonna click save. And then as you guys can see here, it will pop up in a couple seconds on my desktop, which is where I had it, you know, designated to, you know, export. And if I double click it, you guys can see, you know, we have a super high quality header, perfect for Twitter. You guys don't have to do any, you know, type of formatting for Twitter. It will automatically kind of go in there. So now let me show you guys the easiest way of making other headers in different colors. So you guys don't have to redo the text either. Um, this is super important if you guys want to make a bunch of them. Um, all you need to do is I kind of just hide the render here and then I will go to file and I will go to export and I will just do quick export as PNG. And I'll go to desktop and I will just kind of export, you know, the whole header, you know, all finished and everything with the text just without the render. So I can, you know, change out the render. Um, so I will just name this, you know, template ice kicks and I'll, you know, export it just to my desktop, just a quick export here. Um, you guys will see it pop up in a second here. So now if I actually just drag that to one of my separate desktops here, um, I can either I'm just going to go to a new pixeler, you know, tab here and I'm going to go to open image and then I can just open that one that I just exported or I can kind of just drag it here. And then as you guys can see, I have, you know, the image here. So now this is, you know, everything with the text. So when I actually go to adjustment, and I go to hue and saturation, it's going to change the color of everything, as you guys can see, um, including that text. So the text will, you know, match up with the render color or whatever color you guys want to choose. You pink turquoise, you know, orange to match the other caustic render, whatever you guys want. It's super, super cool. And then, you know, if I go to, you know, let's say, you know, blue, um, it changes the text you see here. Then I just hit apply and then we are Gucci. All you guys need to do from there is just go to layer, add image as layer and find whatever new render you want. You know, double click it, edit, you know, transform, size it up how you want it. And then, you know, it's as simple as, you know, that, you know, you guys can be done there or you can, you know, go to adjustment kind of make the render look a little bit better. And you know, that is pretty much it. If you guys like this video and you found this video helpful at all, I'd appreciate a like, subscribe to the channel, share this video with some of your friends. Also drop a comment what you guys again want to see in the future. Comments help drive traffic on the videos. So I really do appreciate everyone down there. You know, Noti Gang, you guys are freaking awesome. And yeah, I appreciate you guys again. I will catch y'all in the next video on the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace out.